How's it going folks? This is Mike and I'm here to do a very quick video. I'm going to do a package opening. Well, actually the package is already open, but I'll show you what's in it. From Sinister Cinema, okay? Sent away for 12 DVDs. Now, once or twice a year, Sinister Cinema, here is their catalog, they have a sale which they call their $98 special, okay? Let's see, here's the, here's the advertisement here, $98 special, which means you can buy any 12 titles, and that includes not only the DVDs and the VHS that they offer, but also their books. They have this uh, section called Armchair Fiction, which is uh, a collection of kind of retro science fiction and mystery titles, and I haven't read any of them, but they have a lot of very interesting old-style artwork on the cover, and I, I would like be curious about getting some. Anyway, you can buy all, uh, 12 titles for $98 postpaid, and I've only taken part in this maybe once or twice before, and I've, I've decided to do it again because uh, this um, company may be going out of business after this year. They, they wrote an open letter in their newest catalog to their uh, loyal customers, and some of the customers who haven't been so loyal after uh, there, there, there are too many options now for buying you know, DVD, Blu-ray, all kinds of things, uh, remastered titles. And Sinister Cinema was one of the first companies which was putting out a lot of really interesting and obscure horror and science fiction and film noir uh, movies that nobody else was, was dealing with. They were one of the first, I think probably they were the first in the United States to showcase the films of Barbara Steele, all of her very, at the time, very obscure Italian horror films that no, nobody else was selling them. And so I have a special love for these people and I would like very much for them to stay in business. So I'm gonna put their link below, uh, sinistercinema.com. You can check out their website. And maybe um, if you like obscure titles, as I do, if you search out some really weird things that you don't know much about, but you're curious, that may be a good place for you to look, okay? SinisterCinema.com. And now I'll show you what the titles that I bought. It won't take a lot of time because I need to get out of here. I'm going to see a movie at 7.30, and it's about 10 minutes to 7 now. So I'll do this very quickly. First one is, this is a movie from the early 1970s called Seeds of Evil, which stars Joe D'Alessandro and Katherine Houghton. Now, of course, Joe D'Alessandro, well-known as being one of the Andy Warhol um, uh, theater company members. He was in a lot of uh, very X-rated <laughs> films for Andy Warhol. Catherine Houghton was, sh she's the niece of Catherine Hepburn, of course. I think the only other film she ever made was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. I think this is the only one besides that. Okay, the next, I have this film noir that I don't know anything about. It's called Trapped. From some, some time in the late 1940s, starring Lloyd Bridges, one of my favorite actors, and Barbara Payton, who was kind of a tragic actress who led a very um, self-destructive lifestyle and died very young. She's kind of a cult figure, very beautiful woman. Uh, up next is a, this is a German kind of a spy film, mystery film called The Violin Case Murders. And it stars an American actor named George Nader who made a lot of films back in the 1950s and up into the early 60s. And he was well known from being in, in the classic science fiction movie Robot Monster, right? Remember that one? He was the, the square-jawed hero in that film. And he went to Europe in the 1960s and started a whole new career. He made this series of spy thrillers as this, the character called Jerry Cotton. And uh, they're, they're very, very well-made, uh, intricate mysteries. And I think they're all dubbed in English, at least I hope they are. The, the other one I have was. So, all right. This is called... Captain Celluloid versus the film Pirates. Now this is this was made in 1966, and I, I only found information about this from Sinister Cinema. I don't think it's available anywhere else. But it's a four chapter serial, and it's supposed to be um, dedicated to the Republic serials of the 1930s and 1940s and 50s. So I think that would be great fun to watch. All right. Next up, we have a, a horror film I've always been kind of curious about called. The Atomic Man, starring, let's see, Gene Nelson and Faith Demurg. That's a great cover. I like that. Okay. Next up uh, is, I have a couple of serials. This is from 1937. This is SOS Coast Guard. And the reason I bought this is because Bela Lugosi is in it. Okay. And this is a Republic serial, so that should be great fun. Next up is another serial that I never heard of, uh, and I don't think this is a Republic. This is called The Lost City. 
from the year 1935. And the reason I bought this is because the description in the catalog talked about how how bad the acting is and how bad the dialogue is and very camp and they have a lot, you know, kind of bad special effects. And I just thought it would be fun to see something that is designated as being a very bad film just for the fun of it. So picked it up. Next, I bought this teenage exploitation film. You'll love the cover, Teenage Mother. And she certainly is. Take a look. Okay. Don't know anything about this. Doesn't seem to have any um, notable stars in it. Nope, not at all. And I think this was this was in the mid 60s, I believe. But I, the film that dares to explain what most parents can't. See life begin. See the actual birth of the baby. I can't wait for that. That should be fun. <clears throat> okay, another teenage juvenile delinquent type film. This is Force of Impulse. And I can't remember exactly when. I think this was the late 1950s. Again, no big stars or anything, but I just, uh, I love these juvenile delinquent films. Just really, they just, uh, I don't know, touch my heart somehow. Maybe I, maybe I wanted to be a juvenile delinquent when I was a kid, but I just never, I was too shy or something. Now, this is a very strange movie called Couples Only. Anybody ever hear of this one? Peter Lorre, Barbara Hale, and Bill Williams. Now, of course, the two of them were a married couple, as well as both being uh, successful TV and film actors. Peter Lorre, this is uh, this was in the science fiction category, and it's supposed to see 1955, and it, the description just said that it, it just the, the, this married couple is living in this this strange old house with this very strange guy who does very strange things in the basement, and seems to be able to to see what's behind him without turning his head. So I don't know what this is going to be about, but it sounds very intriguing. And the last two films that I bought, well, two DVDs that I bought. Now, one thing that Sinister Cinema does, they um, they showcase a lot of what, what is called Poverty Row films from the 1930s up into the 1940s from studios like uh, PRC, Producers Releasing Corporation, Monogram Studios, uh, Majestic, all kinds of, Chesterfield, all kinds of you know, low budget um, studios. And they they put out these th this long list of compilation uh, DVDs where they have sometimes as many as four films on, on a DVD from that studio. And they usually have in the same kind of category. So I just picked up a couple out of curiosity. One is from Monogram. And uh, let's see, the titles on, this is Monogram uh, Volume 10. The titles are Star Reporter, Midnight Limited, Roar of the Press and Lure of the Islands. How intriguing is that? This is from PRC, Volume 3, and the titles are Jungle Siren, Girls in Chains, huh? Dave K, are you listening? Girls in Chains, Isle of Forgotten Sins, and Swing Hostess, which I think is a musical. So this should be great fun. For, for a freak like me, this is going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope everyone has a good evening and maybe I'll do a review of this movie I'm going to see. It's called, did I did I tell you what it's called? It's, it's, it's going to be uh, Deborah Winger in The Lovers and uh, it's supposed to be a very funny comedy. So uh, now I'm babbling like crazy. Let me know what you think of all of my strange and obscure titles and please pay a visit to SinisterCinema.com and see what these uh, very good folks have to offer, okay? Thank you for watching.